Hi, I'm Peter from the AMI Group. We're the Zipwake distributor for Australia and Southeast Asia. Today we're here with Dave and Mark. They were two brothers that own identical boats. They're both currently fitted with trim tabs. And what we're gonna do as we have this unique opportunity is upgrade one boat first with Zipwake dynamic trim control. And we'll leave the trim tabs on the other and then we'll take them both out at a later date for an on-water test for Zipwake versus trim tabs. Um, so we just need to decide which boat we're going to do first. So we'll flip a coin for that. Who wants to call heads and all tails? I'll call heads. All right, it's tails. So Mark's the winner. Winner. All right. All right. Okay, well, let's get into it. Okay. We've uh, removed the trim tab system off the back of the boat. And now we're just looking at how we're gonna place these interceptors on the transom. These particular hulls have this plate welded on and we've got a bit of an issue with height out here. Um, to get all six screws in, we'd end up having the zip wake interceptor all the way in here when we want it further out here for the maximum roll leverage. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use these adapter plates that were designed for a different purpose and what that, that'll allow us to mount the adapter plate out here, get eight screws into this plate. We don't have to do any cutting or welding or anything like that. And then once that's on, we can then fit the zip weight interceptor to the adapter plate. And we're out here where we want it for maximum roll leverage. Okay, so the install's finished and I just thought I'd summarize what we've achieved here. This is boat number 4,500 and something that's had zip wake fitted in Australia and boat number 55,000 and something that's had zip wake fitted worldwide. We now have nice compact interceptors on the transom, so much less chance of cutting fishing lines or people. The zip wake interceptors we have fitted are over five times faster than the trim tabs we removed, which is a good thing to have, but speed isn't everything. We've also got the proven efficiency of true vertical blade style interceptors and the precise control of 200 blade adjustment positions by Zipwake's highly mature auto control algorithm making split second computations and adjustments. Up here we fitted a Zipwake integrator module behind the dash instead of the more normal Zipwake control panel in the dash. The Zipwake interface can be displayed and controlled on the MFD, which is a Garmin in this case. The integrator module is the brains of the operation and has the 3D accelerometer and gyroscope sensors, also known as a six degree of freedom inertial measurement unit. Sounds advanced because it is, and it's what you want in a fully automatic dynamic trim control system. We filled the trim tab switch hole perfectly with an optional zip wake mini controller, which is a nice thing to have if you want to make any minor system adjustments in rough conditions. A best of both worlds type setup, clean dash, nice interface on the MFD, but also tactile feedback. So that's the install details. Time to go try it out on the water side by side, trim tabs versus zip wake. Hey Mark, do you want to um just call them on the radio and say, hey, watch this when we turn it off. Hey Dave, watch this when we turn this system off. Get a, get a go on what that's doing. Yeah, it tips straight over, eh? And that's back on now. It just corrects it perfectly. Here we are out on the water for the next parts of zip wake versus trim tabs. I'm on the boat with Zipwake and the boat behind us has the trim tabs. We've got the drone with us for filming the two boats side by side on the water to showcase the new performance differences. The first thing we're going to film is the Zipwake auto pitch function, which is automatic deployment of the interceptor blades to create stern lift to get the boat up on the plane faster and with less bow rise. It's a standard feature of Zipwake and also works when decelerating so the boat comes off the plane flatter to maintain forward visibility. We had the weight of an extra person on the boat with zip wake and you can still see the difference. Less bow rise and better acceleration. So now we'll demonstrate zip wake's auto roll feature, which is all about keeping the boat upright when cruising for increased comfort and fuel efficiency. Again, this is a standard feature of the zip wake system. We'll get the boats traveling along next to each other and we'll move a passenger to one side of both boats at the same time. 
Mark will be hands off as usual, letting Zipwake do its thing automatically, and Dave will be operating the trim tabs best he can. For a different comparison, I've moved over to the boat with trim tabs, and we now have Kevin, who is a bigger guy than me, on the boat with Zipwake. The Zipwake system still corrects the lean from the extra weight shift perfectly and quickly, while the trim tabs on the other boat are still playing catch up. And here we are out in some waves and you can see the boat with Zipwake on the left using its bow to cut the waves perfectly, resulting in a smoother and more comfortable ride. Now we're going to demonstrate and film one of the lesser known but really nice to have features of Zipwake. Balance turn, or sometimes referred to as coordinated turn, and you guessed it, this is also a standard Zipwake feature. There are a couple of sides to this feature and the best way to describe it is Zipwake will work to try and achieve a balanced neutral G turn, much like a motorbike or a plane banking in a turn. That is, the boat leans in the turn just the right amount to minimise the lateral G forces experienced and it also gives us tighter turning ability. And for an in-boat perspective of balanced turns, I'm standing on the back deck while Mark does a few turns in calm water at 30 knots with the Zipwake system active. The Zipwake system is banking the boat perfectly in the turns, and as you can see, I'm very comfortable standing there without having to hold on to anything. Perfectly balanced turns every time. So Mark, we've spent a couple of hours burning around in your boat with Zipwake. What do you reckon? Good, yeah, really good. Really easy to use, seems seamless, just works. How'd you find it in the turns? Yeah, it's good. It grips a little bit tighter and it holds the boat a bit flatter. It's awesome. Saves me doing anything on the dash now. It just all happens for me.